Yo, what is up everybody? My name is Probation and I'm going to be teaching you how to make this cool follower base. Alright, so before we get started on this base, I'd like to say that we, that I'm going to be making this base alongside with my cat, who is going to do absolutely nothing but just jump on the table. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we're going to be working in Serum. Uh, if it will open. There we go. So we have our initial patch, and to make this follower base, um, we're going to need a few things. One, we're going to have to take off BPM, uh, so we can have this, so we can have this, um, like, free motion, like, it's not going to be, like, it's going to have a nice gradual fall, so. So our sound isn't going to sound like that, um, with just this saw wave so we're gonna use um uh a wait some wave tables i really like to use are these monster ones so are these uh squelchy and tribal oat um and these recy mess bases but we're gonna use monster eight uh we're gonna drop this down an octave so my launch pad can play at this low octave so as you can hear already you we, we kind of get that growly type of sound. But we're going to do some more modulation. So we're just going to come over here, modulate this. Oh, and there's my cat. See, I told you he'd jump on the table. All right, goodbye, O'Malley. <laughs> so, yeah, um, right. We can FM this from oscillator B. We're gonna actually use a triangle wave and put that up two octaves. That's too high. So we're just making this general sound. Uh, it's gonna sound, I'm pretty sure it might sound a lot different from what we have right now. But yeah, we have this. I'm just gonna do some hybrid motion. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, so this is gonna be like a one bar type of faller. Uh, put on F key. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna mod you, or we're gonna configure this so we'll have a little slope down. Also, put this on trigger. I'll drop that down to 27. We'll just here just just give me one second. All right, so we just we, we got that situation situated. So now we have this little pattern of just fall falling down. Um, but yeah, let's put some more effects on it. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a gradual uh, effect where it's just this is it, like it goes from mono to stereo. So let's see that. Yeah, one bar. Opposite way. Actually, we'll do this. And just put some OCT on it. Some saturation or distortion. We're also gonna do some uh, pitch modulation. Uh, we'll we'll save that for later though. So we'll come over here. A lot of phaser. This is just my general uh, processing effects. We're gonna actually use the static chorus effect, uh, something that AU5 has um, a YouTube video on. I'll put that in the description if I can, or if I remember to, because I know I don't. My past experience, I don't put stuff in the description, or I don't remember to. But yeah, we're gonna do the static chorus effect, which is basically 
all the way, uh, mix all the way up, low pass filter all the way up, feed down, depth down, and you just want to play, oh, also rate down, you just want to play with these, uh, these two delay knobs. So. So that sounds pretty that sounds pretty cool. So we'll just put this up here and I think we're gonna do some we're gonna put some comer flanger all oh, let's see what sounds good. Sounds pretty good. I guess while we're at it, we'll just add a sub. Uh, another trick that we can do is we can add the delay, um, turn it on link, put it all the put it a bit down, and we'll come over here and. So that sounds pretty good. Sounds very robotic-y. And it sounds pretty quiet now, but we'll just add a fat... Oh, excuse me. We'll just add a fat rack on it later. Um, There's nothing really much we can do here. I don't really use the flanger, or reverb, or EQ at all. I guess we can add some more... We can try adding some more... Uh... Ooh, that's a little too wobbly. We'll just go ahead and do some notching right here. Uh, frequency. Yeah, this game doesn't do much. Alright, so we we got that. Um So now for the processing. Usually when I process my bases, um I don't really do much. I just add a fat rack or a modified version of a fat rack. So I'll I'll actually explain it here. So I, I just call it the secret fat rack just because I want to. So as you see here, we have some Valhalla and uh, Fat Trader. But what I have here is I have a separate chain in parallel um, that uses reverb just to give it more space. So I'm just going to turn this down just a few dB. And this is just to give it room, to give it some space. But since we already have... Um, since we already have some delays and effects that kind of give it this space we can we can take it off but if, as you could hear with with it on you can hear in the high end just the the reverb uh kind of in the background if you will um just listen to both of those and just compare them you got to really listen to the high end to tell a difference no but yeah um this modif this modified uh version of fat rack also has a lot of phasers i also added a faturator and i added a faturator knob and i also added a phaser on and off because if you look at the phasers like th three of these one right here here and here they're actually pretty powerful <laughs> So you can really hear the difference in between them. No, but yeah, that's kind of how you make a faller bass. It, there's really not too much to it. Oh yeah, um, actually, I forgot. Add some pitch bending. We can... This is probably going to sound a little weird, but... It 
it's not that bad. What if we try it from the bottom? <laughs> that sounds interesting. I actually, I kind of like it like this. It's pretty cool. Not bad. Oh, um... Hold on. just want to see if all the timing on the OTT is all the way up. I think it is. Uh, Alright, never mind then. So yeah, I guess that concludes this uh, follower-based tutorial. It's, uh... Again, pretty simple. Doing stuff like this. Please, uh, try and, like mess around with this um i'll see if i can uh maybe add the preset down uh download if you guys want it um you can kind of just go in and dissect all of this mess around add more effects post and pre um i mean yeah uh thank you for watching this tutorial i will see you guys later bye